What's up guys? Welcome back to Pokemon Sienna. Today we're taking on the Ganja City Pokemon Gym. Uh, we're not really all healed up actually, but we're gonna take her on anyway. Hello, budding trainer. I'm Nancy, the gym leader. I presume you want to battle? Time to test your destiny. I don't know why she talks that way, but she's got pink hair and a flower. And she's got an Eevee too. Um, actually, W is not gonna be that great of a help in this gym, so I'm just gonna straight out just switch out to Jaws. I mean, W can probably take on this Eevee, but just to make it a little quicker, we're just going to switch to Jaws. You can see right there, it's got Bubble Bee. That's mainly why it's not going to be that great of a help. Um, because though this is a normal type gym, I guess they, you know, want to have a uh, water type move for whatever reason. And W can't really take those on too well, considering it's a ground type. Um, it's going to use Defense Curl, but that doesn't really affect me, since I have Water Gun into Special Move. Um, in this generation, I don't know if I ever mentioned this in any previous episodes, but in case I haven't, uh, the whole physical special split actually just happens by typing. Not really like, you know, how Waterfall and Surf, they're both water moves, but they're physical and special respectively in fourth generation on. But in this game, um, they're actually just divided by type, so they would both be special. Um, I'm not really sure which one is which, but I know at least Fire, Grass, and Water are all sp um, special. And stuff like fighting and normal are all physical, so... You know, Water Gun's still gonna be a special attack, so Defense Curl doesn't really affect me. Anyway, moving on, uh, just took out her Eevee. Really just use anything that is not weak to Bubble Beam, I guess. And, um, just keep whittling it down until you eventually succeed. Now, our second Pokemon is gonna be Gramble. This thing's actually a little tougher to take out, because it does more damage, but not really that big of a problem. I'm just gonna keep spamming Water Guns. And Torrent Activate right there. Thank you to all of everyone that left, like, the comments telling me last episode, like, Oh, noob, it was Torn. It wasn't, um, the random damage calculator, you noob. Um, but yeah, Jaws just got taken down. I really hope she doesn't use a potion, because that means I can take her out with a tackle. And that was the gym. Simple as that. Um, two minutes in, 15 seconds? Not really that long timing. Uh, W growing to level 15. And, you know, I guess Jaws did faint in the end, but... Yeah, I guess we really deserve the badge. It was a two-on-two -two battle, so I guess it was okay. And we get the orange in badge. Um, it makes a different sound from the usual games. I actually prefer the usual sound rather to this one. Uh, I forgot we could run inside, actually, but let's go ahead and get out of this gym now that we beat it. Uh, speaking of which, I'm holding the Pokemon egg with me. Actually, am I? Oh, yeah, we get the Pokemon egg after the gym, I forgot. But uh, I guess we'll be getting that now, then. Um, I'm not going to spoil for any of you what the Pokemon Egg is, but it's actually something pretty awesome. Um, I'm going to try to hatch it, actually, like, as we go along. Or I could just try to hatch it right now with, like, speed up. Um, I think he was in this house. I'm not sure. Maybe? Oh, yeah, you actually won the badge. I guess I'll give you this egg. Next time I battle, I'll be so much stronger. We never battled, though. You just kind of gave me the egg. So you fatty just keep on running up and down that street there, I guess that little sidewalk thing. And we're going to go ahead and heal up our Pokemon here. Um, once you guys see what's in the egg, I just want you guys to vote, like, whether you want me to use it or not. Um, I actually think it's a pretty cool Pokemon. It's something unusual, and it's actually really good. It's not overpowered, but it's pretty good. So let's head out of Ganja City. I don't know if I've bought any repels yet. I don't think I have, though. Let me just check. No, I haven't. I believe there's a Pokemon Mart here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now since none of the other towns have sold them yet. So I guess we can do that right now. Let's go ahead and buy. I really hope they have repels. Oh, they have super repels already. Awesome. Um, I guess I'll just get five of them since I really don't have that much money to waste. Um, I can sell some stuff too, I guess. Since we did the gym leader, there's really not too much else to do. I mean, I'm not going to sell anything else, but there we go. That's enough time wasting for one episode. Let's head back out of Ganja City, and we're going to be... Wait, does the sound just stop? Oh, it's just so low that I didn't really notice it, but... It definitely didn't stop. Um, I'm just going to be heading back through the forest, so let me do that right now. Anyway, we're back in Nile City. Um, this is like the first city we came to. And now that we've got the second badge, we can proceed on by this kid here. Whoa, you've got Nancy's badge! And he's going to give us TM11. I don't know if that was considered a voice crack there, but you guys, if you uh, heard that, I guess you can comment like about it. I don't know. Um, so she, this guy here is going to give us TM11, Sunny Day. We got Facade from Nancy there. And I'm just, I forgot to use my repels in the forest. I don't know why, but uh, 
Um, I'm not going to use him here, actually. I want to show off a little of the stuff you can catch here. You can actually catch one of the first fakie mons in this route. Yeah, I forgot what it's called, but it's like some kind of bomb bug type kind of thing. Um, but while we talk about that, we're going to fight this guy here. He's going to have a Geodude, which I cannot take out because I've yet to get a ground type move. Um, but yeah, it's like a little bomb thing, and it's actually, I think it's rock type. I'm not sure. I mean, bug type, sorry. Um, you can also catch Mareeps here. You know, the little sheep electric thing. So if you want to get an electric type early on, you can get Mareeps in this route. I think I'll run into one eventually. Okay, never mind. Um, but we'll just keep, um, fighting these trainers here and eventually getting, like, to the... Uh, I think there's a cave coming up, actually. So, once we get there, we'll get there. Um, so I guess we'll fight this girl now. She's got a Meryl. And it's blue and brown and it's got a springy tail thing. I don't know. I don't know if it's a spring or just, like... What is Mero's tail? Wait, what? Chikorita is supposedly found on Cyan Pass. Oh, so you can apparently find Chikoritas in this route here. Um, I, they're probably really rare, but, you know, this guy here is gonna have Mega Uber Rare Pokemon! Oh, it's Bagon. That's actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I thought by, like, Mega Ultra Rare Uber Pokemon, he would mean something stupid, like something like oddish or something but he actually has a big on so you know i'll give you props for that kid you're legit man and i guess at level 21 jaws is going to be learning um bite and the little kid is like yeah i was serious man i wasn't kidding man you mad you mad i don't know he was like screaming or something but uh, okay here's a meowth i'm just gonna like run right past that oh great can't escape awesome uh, freaking amazing, so let's just keep running right through here, um, I believe I skip an item or something, or a trainer down here, okay, so I skipped a trainer and an item, or just an item, okay, I guess that's not a trainer, oh, max potion, that's pretty cool, and this tree, I think, is, uh, like a custom sprite or something, but it's pretty cool, and again, a voice crack, okay, so apparently, wait, what, sure, I would like a focus punch TM, I mean, why not, Apparently you can focus punch trees in this game rather than headbutt them. I'm really not sure how that works. I think that's what the guy was saying there. Really didn't pay too much attention. And here's an Oddish. Speaking of which, or speaking of the devil, or I really didn't speak of the devil. I never got that little saying thing. And here's the Marie that I was talking about earlier too. I mean, I said that this kid would have something like an Oddish. I actually didn't even expect Oddishes to be in this route. Uh, but here is going to be Genesis Cave, I think. Yep, Genesis Cave. It's actually got completely custom tiles. I mean, I don't know if they're custom or taking from some other game, but they look pretty legit. And here's going to be a Geodude. Not going to worry about that thing. Um, there's actually another Fakimon that you can catch here, which I will hopefully run into um, later in this episode because I really want to show that one off. It's actually... I actually think it both looks really cool, and it's actually a really good Pokemon, too. Excuse that. I don't know if you heard my cell phone's crappy ringtone there, but... Hopefully you didn't because it was really crappy and now it's on vibrate so you know maybe my senses will tingle later on I'm not sure um, and I forgot the super speed right there for some reason too I don't know I kind of just lost my trail of thought and everything all crazy now in my head Everything's all backwards guys it's all loopy I don't know what's going on where am I here's a Zubat I'm gonna completely ignore that I don't know why I spit up that part either I don't know um, it'll take a little while for me to get used to this again, because I just got interrupted and it kind of lost my trail of thought. I really don't know what I'm doing now, but... Um, it's just some people calling me to record their telenovelas because they're very important and they can't be screwed around with. I don't know. Um, but this guy here is going to have a Machop, and I really hope I eventually run into... Whoa, a Graveler! No, that's not what I want to run into, but... Uh, I really hope I eventually run into that Fakemon that I want you guys to see. Maybe it'll be this one? I don't know... No, that's just the Geo dude. I'm not even sure if it's in this cave. Uh, yeah, it is. I actually just remembered because that little girl is standing in front of that entrance thing. So it's definitely this cave. But I guess since we can't find that, we'll fight this giant here. Fee fi fo fum. I smell the blood of a trainer. That doesn't even rhyme, man. You suck at nursery rhymes and whatever else. Um, I don't even know what that is. Is that um? Uh, Jack and the Beanstalk, or like, Paul Bunyan, or what is it? I think it's Jack and the Beanstalk, I'm pretty sure. Um, another Graveler. Really low-level Gravelers, I don't get that. Um, I'm actually gonna use Bait and Tackle method, or Switch in and out I guess, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I've been forgetting to do that, too, and now Jaws is, like, level 23, or about to be. Um, okay, it is. Oh, Flail, cool. Finally a new move for, uh, W. 
still not a ground type move, so I'm pretty disappointed in that. And that was Hiker Knob. Have you noticed there's always like a guy named Knob in all the Pokemon games? I mainly notice it. I, I mean, I probably wouldn't notice it if it wasn't the fact that his name is very similar to Noob. Um, but other than, if it wasn't for that, I probably would have never noticed that. But uh, yeah, his name is actually like Knob, and there's one in every game. Um, I actually think that all the trainers in the games are named after like Game Freak corporate co corporation people or you know just basically people that work at game freak i'm really not sure about that i think it's true i mean not all of them probably but you know a lot of them might be i'm really not sure so if you guys know anything about that just uh let me know in the comments or unless you can figure out some other place to tell me and then uh let me know there i guess and that was hiker allen uh let's go up to this little girl and see what she has to say right after we run into a wild geo dude once again still not the thing i'm looking for um i do not have a need ran mail actually you don't actually have to worry about that oh here it is Duglug. finally i was uh, waiting for you i mean I i'll admit it doesn't look that great but i actually still like it oh come on critical hit really I actually wanted to catch that thing, and I sped up the wrong thing, didn't I? I was supposed to speed up the battle, not the actual walking part. I don't know. But, um, yeah, that was Duglug, uh, the little Fakemon thing. It's actually, I think it's just ground, either just ground, and the evolution is ground and steel. And going back through the route, I actually managed to cat my sh or catch myself a Duglug, um, because I like catting things, you know, I like to cat myself a Duglug. And heading back out here, we're going to go to Mekong City, and oh my god, surprise rival battle. Oh, I actually wasn't expecting this because it's been so long since I last played this game. Uh, or rather, yeah, it's not actually a surprise, guys. I've actually had to do this battle, like, I believe this is my third time, fourth time doing this battle. Just because freaking Harry here has a Bayleaf, and I just realized both my Pokemon are weak to Grass type. Or actually, all three of the ones I have on me right now or all weak to grass type. I have a water type, um, which is Jaws here. I have Duglug with me for some reason. And I have W, which is another ground type. So basically, I, all of my Pokemon are weak to its, his Bayleaf. So I hope this battle will go smoothly because it's gone smoothly once and I just failed at the very end. But hopefully this one won't be such a huge fail. Anyway, he's going to start off with his Torkoal there. So it's a fire type. Just take it out with a water type if you don't have one. Um, you can also get, like, a ground type in that cave thing if you can get it, like, a Duglug or a Geodude. Even though Geodude isn't really the best choice. Anyway, here's the main threat on his team. It's freaking Bayleaf, and it's, like, level 20. It's not that high level, but it's just really annoying to take out. And thankfully, I got a, uh, flinch hack there, so, uh, it actually gets really annoying when it gets down to low enough HP so that its ability activates. And that's when the battle really becomes annoying, so, you know... Okay, it's not in the red zone yet, and it flinched. That means I can probably take it out. Yes, awesome. Finally actually taking it out with not that great of a problem. And his last Pokemon is going to be a cute little snow runt. I'm going to go for a W, even though it is still weak to the whole um, ice type. So, yeah, hopefully it won't be that big of a threat. And I just misclick with Tackle. Oh, it actually does about the same damage as Flail did. So, I guess I'll just keep going for Tackle and... uh you know, it's going to use its double teams. It's going to be pretty annoying to take out now with its double teams up. Okay, there it goes for its first Icy Wind. Um, I know I can survive two, I believe. I'm not sure. Maybe I can survive another one, hopefully. But, of course, my speed drops. Awesome. And now it's faster than me. This is just great. I really hope I can survive. Otherwise, this might be a little annoying. Oh, great. I didn't even survive. Oh, awesome. So, anyway, I guess I'm going to have to go for Jaws' awesome biting powers. And I'm not sure if uh, Snow Runt is half Dark type. I know Glalie is. Actually, is right. No, Glalie isn't even half Dark type, is it? I'm really not sure. This is just me failing to know Pokemon in general. But I know that uh, I can take it out with a bite, basically. So, you know, even if you lower my speed, it does not matter. I am still faster than you, and I can kill you, Snow Runt. And that was Harry. I can't believe that took so many freaking attempts to do. I mean, I lost so much money there, but at least I got 4,000, which is pretty worth it. So, I am too good for you, Harry. But you've already got the badge. Awesome.